Today I will be ready to you President Penny Parker. On a not too sunny, but not too cold, not too hot, but not too cold Saturday afternoon in May. Look, Penny Parker asked his father one question because Looker Penny Baker wanted just one thing. Dad, he sighed, can I watch TV? His dad didn't say yes. Ask Luke, thought he showed her. And he did say no, as he usually did when Luke asked him if he could watch TV. Instead, he answered Luke's own question with life entirety different new questions. Luke cut that was answered because one question deserved one answer, not like more question. Did you clean your room? Did you eat your lunch? Did you brush your teeth this morning? Did you feed the fish? Did you ask your mother if she needs help with anything? No, answered to look. Then he asked again, so can I watch TV? This time his dad gave him just one answer, no. So look, Pennybaker cleaning this room, after his lunch, brushing his teeth, feed the fish, and asked his mother if she needed help with anything. Then he went back to his father, first his one question, Dad, now can I watch TV? Like Penny Baker, fathers looked at him son and said, No. It was a sink very moment. This precise instrument, this exam time and play that look relays life was a fail. A few moments later after, Luke fold as lot as he could and was sent to his room named different than the he would. Do whatever he could to make life fair. And so goes his story of hope. Luke Pennybaker beside the youngest boy ever to run for president. Luke went to school that morning and announced his candidate. Please vote Pennybaker for president, he said. I promise to make life fair. I promise that if I'm elected president, you'll only have to do homework when you went to. I protest that if I am elected president, you'll be able to eat dessert and time of the day and go to sleep as late as you want to. I protest that if I elected president, every child in America will get a good or a cat, or a hamster, or a jambri, or a robot, or a ibis. The children in Luke's school are chirped. Penny Baker for president! That week, they set up a camper office and named Luke's dog Libby as the nice president candidates. They packed up posters and called their cousins, asking them to send their Dennis to the Penny Baker for president campaign. Luke and Libby spent 
the summer traveling around the country, campaigning. They campaigned onto a mountain in Colorado and on the beach and the Jersey Shore. They contain in a candy store is Kansas and at a dog show is Detroit.